The case of Isabel Celis is not the first to prompt community-wide concerns and prayers in Tucson. Not so long ago, the name K. Francis Reed was on almost everybody's mind. Four years after Reed disappeared, the mystery has only deepened. Tonight, Claire Dewan has some never-before-seen crime scene photos in this Not In Your Side Crime Watch. The story told before, but has never been finished. A puzzle more confounding over time. One piece lies here on the streets of East Tucson. 62-year-old Kay Reed, a medical records clerk, lived at this house in a neighborhood so quiet. You can hear the birds chirping, the dogs barking. But in the middle of a frosty February night, something happened, and Reed's mother could not get a hold of her. Shortly after sunrise, Reed's sister went to check on her. I got there, I uh, pulled in the driveway. Of course, I noticed her van was gone right away. And that's not like Kay. She, if she did go anywhere, she would call me. Mary Siegel opened the front door, which wasn't locked. Inside, she saw what she feared, Reed's crutches. Siegel found Reed's leg brace and walking stick in the bedroom. But Reed, left handicapped from a young bout with polio, was nowhere to be found. So started a mad search, racing against time. My heart was pounding, my mind was racing. Um, I bet between my house and her house, I must have made 50 stops, but it was just like she vanished. Police and SWAT flooded the area. They prepared for the worst, checking alleyways, garbage cans, even a nearby landfill. Possibly the most crucial evidence, though, was a few blocks away, burning in broad daylight. This picture, never before published, shows Reed's van after someone abandoned it and set it on fire, leaving much of her belongings scorched. The investigator at the time. Um, it's just that we've been at this a long time, and I don't mean today. I mean, most of us have been doing this for a lot of years, and right now things just aren't adding up. Blocks away, a man tried to use Reed's debit card at this Conoco gas station. And a security camera there captured images of perhaps the last person to see Reed alive. He's Hispanic or Caucasian in his late 20s or early 30s, 5'7", 180 pounds. Witnesses say he had short, dark hair, sores on his face, and decaying teeth. But family members do not believe the person who abducted Reed acted alone. The door showed no signs of forced entry. It was like either a woman who was in distress or a child was acting like they needed help because I know my sister, she would never, ever open that door to a man. Sarid's family set up billboards and passed out flyers. If you see anything or hear anything, will you please call the police? And detectives investigated the case as a homicide. People reported seeing Reed at different places in Tucson, but despite leads to police and to her family, she never appeared. And despite a relentless search, any hope of finding her eventually faded away. Right now, the reality is that we don't have any uh, significant viable leads that we're working. Uh, however, uh, the case is an open case. It is a, an active investigation. Reed's mother died not knowing what happened to her daughter. The rest of the family consumed by what ifs and whys haunted by their imagination. And as time passed, it started to sink in. Maybe Reed would never return. I, I think back now she was probably, probably gone before she left the house. I don't, I don't know why I feel that way, but I just do. So what exactly happened inside this house? Was Reed dragged out? And what happened inside the van so sinister? Someone felt they had to set it on fire. I'm sure, I'm sure it was, I sh I'm trying to figure out how to word this. She went down fighting. I, I know, um, just knowing her. Since then, the memory and mystery of Reed has lingered with the community. The Sunday school teacher's charity work impacted many, but what they remember about Reed now is clouded by an overpowering unknown. We're looking for that little piece uh, that someone thinks is, is insignificant, has dismissed as not being important, and that in fact may be that little piece that helps build this puzzle and, and helps solve this case. But what is the last piece of the puzzle, and who has it? Solving the mystery would bring justice and for Reed's family, much needed closure. And at this point, I don't care who did it. 
I just want her back. I want her to come home and be where she needs to be. Claire Duan, KGAN 9, on your side. Reed's family and the Tucson Medical Center are offering a $20,000 reward for information. Please call 911 or 88 Crime if you know anything, and you can remain anonymous.